All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorry, I haven't been putting out videos recently. Just been not feeling motivated not to make videos, but just to find the motivation to make the videos. So, and also lack of content. Um, so it would be great if you guys could drop some comments if there's anything you guys want to see. Um, but I'm probably just going to start doing installs. I know I've been saying that, but I'm probably actually going to start it. Um, so anyways, today I wanted to go over how to cut live wires. Um, as you can see, I have this piece that I'm going to plug into this extension cord right here. This is not focusing. Um, but anyways, I got this all tied together and this is connected to the garage circuit. It's just focusing on the carpet. Um, but this is connected to the garage circuit. So this is going to pop the breaker here in a second, but <clears throat> more on that in a second. So um, first of all, you're going to want to make sure if you are using strippers, if you're using strippers to cut um, cut these wires, make sure they don't have any nicks or damage in them. Uh, because if you are holding on to this, um, holding on to the strippers or whatever kind of tool you're using to cut, um, it's going to go through the metal <clears throat> and then you're gonna feel it. So um, don't want to do that if you make a mistake. Um, but basically, um, when you go to cut live wires, um, or when you go to cut wires, you want to make sure the power is off. Um, that's the number one step. As you can see, it's not plugged in right now, so it's not a problem. So um, when you go to just cut a piece of wire, everything is fine if you just cut all three of them. But it's different when you when you cut live wires. Um, there's kind of a process to it, and diff cutting different wires at the same time does different things. <clears throat> and that's where <clears throat> I want to show you in today's video what is going to happen if you do that <clears throat> losing my voice so i'm going to go ahead and turn on the flash here real quick uh, you'll understand here why in a second all right so now that we're back here i'm going to plug this in here and try not to grab these wires at the same time um, so i'm going to go ahead and plug this in i'm just going to let it dangle actually so um, so now we have the power connected and that is plugged into the wall you'll see that here very shortly of I didn't bring my tester out here, but I'm not going to use the strippers with the gash in them because I do not want to feel this. Um, I have some old pairs of strippers here that are already garbage, but basically if you um, cut these wires um, on accident or you don't know the power's on, which is an accident, um, then your tools are going to blow up. And it's going to look something a little bit like this. This is where I've cut a live wire before and it... Um, exploded and blew out my strippers so there's now a hole right there where the strippers don't really cut anymore and so I don't really use them so um, basically what you're gonna want to avoid is cutting all three of these at the same time with the power on because that's just going to ground it out and it's gonna explode it's gonna trip the breaker um, it's gonna be dangerous ish so basically I'm just gonna give you guys an example here I'm just gonna uh, blow these up real quick. I'll give you the warning. So anyways, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna turn the lights off in the garage, but it's gonna look like this Okay, then it did not <clears throat> turn the lights off surprisingly um, But um, it did as you can see here blow out the strippers right there where I was starting to cut it um, So that's what you want to avoid um, I'm not sure if the, I'm pretty sure the breaker might be off now but as soon as you hit the um, the hot to the ground, it's going to explode. If you do the hot to the neutral, it should explode as well. Um, and I'm just going to try to give you all these examples here real quick. Um, it would be helpful if I did have my tester on me so I could make sure the power is on or off. Um, but as you can see right here, um, it did start to blow up a little bit. It's going to make some smoke. It's going to make a mess. All right, guys, so I went ahead and turned the circuit back on. I uh, had to reset the GFI as well because everything is off this one GFI, so if I don't reset the GFI, it doesn't work because I already tested this out. Um, so basically, if you last time I did the three wires, um, it explodes. If you just do the hot on the ground, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to explode because um, usually that's what trips it, but I'll also show you the um, hot to neutral and the neutral to ground um as well so once again this is going to blow up warning here um, so it's going to look like this and that is going to 
cut the circuit, as you can see, turns the power off, trips the breaker. And that one was a pretty good one right there. A uh, pretty good gash right there. So here is a second explosion. That one was near the top of the strippers right there. Um, as you can see on the back side right there, it blew that spot out. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it back on and then I'm going to cut the um, neutral and the ground. Or the, I'll start with the hot and the neutral and then I'll go to neutral and ground. So let me go turn that back on real quick and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so because this isn't directly on a breaker, it's giving me a little bit different results. So hopefully this isn't gonna mess up my video. Um, but the first time when I cut all three wires, it tripped the breaker and then I had to reset the GFI. The last time I just cut the hot and the ground, it just tripped the breaker, or I, it just tripped the GFI um, and did not trip the breaker. And so now I'm going to cut, as you can see, power's back on. So I'm just going to do the, um, the hot and the neutral this time, and this is what it's gonna look like. So obviously a bigger explosion, um, as you can see right there, makes a huge um, explosion right there on the strippers. Um, that one took a literal chunk out of the strippers right there, um, as you can see. So more dangerous there on the hot to neutral um, cut right there. Um, and then for the last one, turn it back on. Um, I'm pretty sure that one popped the breaker. Um, for the last one, I'm just going to show you what happens if you cut the neutral and ground while those are live, and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, power's back on. That one, tip, cutting the hot and the neutral, tripped the breaker, did not trip the GFI, surprisingly. Very weird. Um, so I'm assuming cutting the neutral and the ground is just going to trip the, um, trip the GFCI. And um, there shouldn't really be an explosion because there's no power here, so it should just trip the GFI, um, and that should be about it. It might trip the breaker, but I really doubt it. So um, final cut on three, two, one. There it goes. As you heard that pop, that tripped the GFCI over here, um, and that's pretty much it. So do not cut with the do not cut with the um, hot wire with the other wires, and I'll show you one last trick. All right guys, so I got the power back on, as you can see right there, power is on, and you can, you can cut wires, uh, no problem, as you can see here, obviously these strippers are trash now, I just blew them up like four times, but as you can see here, you can cut live wires all you want, as long as it's by itself, it's not gonna be a problem, but as soon as you start, is as soon as you start cutting them together, that's when you get the problems. As you already saw on the combinations, you can do this all day long. You can strip them out if you want to. I'm gonna go over that in a separate video, probably, of how to work with live wires. This is just how to cut live wires, so try to make a second video out of this. Try to keep it to the point, but as you can see there, power's still on and it's not gonna be a problem at all unless you start touching it or cutting them together um, with the copper exposed. Obviously the ground doesn't have anything on it, um, but if there was ghost voltage or anything like that, um, then you could get some power on the ground, but um, you're not gonna get anything on these as long as there's no nicks in the jacket, no metal exposed and you're not touching it. So like I said, you can cut them all day long, but don't cut them together if you have to work with live wires, cut them by themselves um, and that's, today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, I'm going to unplug this so I don't hurt myself. Um, so anyways, thank you so much. Uh, God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Check the description down below for anything else. Check out the first link in the description, the link tree for all, uh, pretty much everything, social medias, um, and then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right, guys, one more thing I did want to mention is the fact because I had the GFCI right after the panel, it kind of gave me different results. If it was just, if I just had this wire coming right off of the breaker um, and it was a GFCI breaker, it would trip in every scenario, whether it was hot to neutral or hot to ground or ground to neutral, it would trip if you cut any combination of those. Once again, if you got the wires by themselves, 
you would not have a problem. Um, but also, if you don't have like a GFCI breaker and you just have a wire coming off of the breaker um, and doesn't have um, the GFCI function, um, or if it's just like really old wires and it's not grounded properly, if you go to cut some of these wires sometime, or um, if you accidentally like touch a live wire to like a pipe, sometimes it just won't trip at all and it'll just keep sparking so it can be really dangerous really fast. So just be careful of that, um, just to not make any super big mistakes. And uh, if anything starts to keep sparking, just hurry and try to make it stop.